Hey, welcome to the show. Here we are with Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1, and we are doing Lesson 12. We have the application problem, and we're working on page 71. Might be different with your book. All right, let's begin. So on this, you're supposed to read, draw, and write. So first of all, we're going to read the sentence. A chef arranges four rows of three red peppers on a tray. He adds two more rows of three yellow peppers. How many peppers are there all together? All right, so it does not say we need to make a labeled tape diagram. We don't need to make an array. We can just have fun doing uh, whatever we need to do to find the answer. And that's the cool thing about mathematics. You can find, there's so many different ways on how to find the answer. So let's go ahead and take each sentence as a at a time. Sometimes it gets confusing with all this stuff right here. So a chef arranges four rows of three red peppers on a tray. All right. He adds two more. Let's, let's worry about that one a little bit later. So he has four rows of three red peppers. When I make four rows, what I like to do is I put a line. So I go one, two, three, four. There's my four rows. And in each row, there's going to be three red peppers. So I'm just going to make some peppers. Kind of looks like a peppers. Pepper, pepper, pepper. All right. I don't like eating hot peppers. I don't know about you guys, but, um, but I do enjoy some peppers um, as long as they're not hot. Um, here we have some, so we have three red peppers, four rows of them. And then he adds two more rows. So I'm going to add two more rows. One, two, of three yellow peppers. So I'm going to just put in some yellow peppers. I'm going to make them hollow. All right. So there's all the peppers. So it says, how many peppers are there all together? So we have to go ahead and add that. All right. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18. Now, if you wanted to, you could, you would take four rows of three red peppers, all right, right here. And that would be four times three would equal 12. And then two more rows of three. Connect that. I'm getting a little sloppy there. And that would be 2 times 3. That would equal 6. And 12 plus 6. All right, 6 plus 2, 8. 1, bring it down. You know, when you're um, drawing uh, story problems, get crazy. Just get, just draw all kinds, you know, make marks, do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, you know, make squiggly lines for the questions mark it up, have fun with all that. So um, this chef, he, he's going to make some kind of cool, um, I don't know, some kind of food with all these peppers. Golly. So here's our sentence right there. How many peppers are there all together? There are 18 peppers. My wife and I, we just, we uh, planted peppers this summer and they came out and oh my goodness, we had the uh, red bell pepper and very delicious. So I was kind of surprised it turned out really good. All right, let's go on to our next page here. Lesson 12 problem set. This looks kind of fun. I like doing stuff like this. There are eight birds at the pet store. Two birds are in each cage. Circle to show how many cages there are. Well, I don't see any cages. They're all flying everywhere. We need to put them in a cage, don't we? How many uh, birds do we need to put in each cage? Two birds we need to put in each cage. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put these two in a cage. And put these two in a cage. These two over in here in a cage. And these in a cage. So we have eight divided by two. So to find that, you would go one, two, three, four. All right. Remember, division is the opposite of multiplication. So you would have how many groups? 
four groups of two, and that would equal eight. All right. There are blank cages of birds. Four, cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. All right. Let's keep on moving on. We're talking about pets here, aren't we? Sometimes we talk about food. Looks like we're talking about pets. But why do they have a story about peppers? All right, let's stick to this sub subject here. The pet store sells 10 fish. They equally divide the fish into five bowls. Draw a fish to find the number of each bowl. Ooh, they're getting spe specific. They want you to draw a fish. Now, when you draw a fish, do it like an, an eight. If you can see me, go like this. Bring it over like that. It's like a sideways eight. Bring it up here, straight line down, and then connect. And there's your little fishy. All right, so we need to draw a fish. How many fish total? Ten. All right, one fish, two fish, three fish, four fish, five fish, six fish, seven fish, eight fish, nine fish. Oh my goodness, ten fish. Okay, I thought I was thought it was going to be eight, but okay, ten. I when I was doing that, I was thinking of um, the storybook that I used to read to my son and daughter. It was one fish, two fish, three fish. I think it was a Dr. S or yeah, Dr. Seuss type of book. So I just love those type of books. Okay, back to the subject. We have five times how many? We have five groups. All right. One, two, three, four, five. They snuck a tape diagram in here, didn't they? And how many are in each group? Two right here. Uno dos. Ten divided by five equals two. There are two fish in each bowl. All right. The, why are they doing all this? They're just giving you a visual representation of what five times two looks like. We also did some division to find that answer, and that was this. And then we found the answer right here. So, all right, move on. We got some bunny rabbits here. We got to match the bunny rabbit to the carrot so that they can eat it. All right. So if you didn't go ahead and do this, why don't you do that? Hit the pause button, and when you're ready to check it with me, hit play. Boom. Okay. Um, remember, division is the opposite of multiplication. All right. So uh, 10 divided by 2. Just cut 10 in half. What is it? 5. Here's a carrot. Here, you can munch on that there, little rabbit. Uh, what's half of 16? 8. There's a carrot for you. And half of 18, 9. They didn't really scatter these carrots too much. That was an easy one, wasn't it? What's half of 14? 7. Right over here. And then we have half of 12 would be 6. Bring that over there. Now our little rabbit friends are happy. Cool. All right. Let's move on. Oh, come on now. We just got done doing a cool picture with a cool page with all these neat pictures. And now they're going to give us just tape diagram. So maybe we can try to make it exciting. All right. Laina buys 14 meters of ribbon. What in the world are you going to do with that much ribbon? Anyway, she cuts her ribbon into two, two equal pieces. All right. So here's her ribbon right here. And she cuts it in half. How many meters long is each piece? Label the tape diagram and represent the problem, including the unknown. <gasps> the unknown. All right. So um, we know that this whole thing right here, boom, is 14 meters. So we just put 14 meters. All right. Now we need to figure out what is this? How many parts do we have? How many times? Did she cut it? She cut it once, so now we have two pieces. So we need to divide 14. 14 divided by 2. All right. So what would that be? 7. So we put a 7 there, 7 there. I don't know if you can even see that. Here's a 7 there and a 7 there. Oh, we can even put a 7 right there. All right. So then we know that this part right here is 7 meters. Each piece is 7 meters long. All right. So uh, remember, this is like um, multiplication. She cut it in. There, she has two pieces. All right. So two times what? 
equals 14. So make sure you memorize your multiplication facts. Makes it a lot easier. 2 times 7 equals 14. Roy eats two cereal bars every morning. Holy cow, I wonder how big those bars are. Each box has a total of 12 bars. How many days will it take Roy to finish one box? Does it say to do a tape diagram? No. Ask your teacher. Do you, she want you, he or she wants you to make a tape diagram? This is where I say, hey kids, go crazy. Find me the answer, all right? Whatever you want to do, all right? So just think outside the box. Roy eats two cereal bars every morning. Each box has a total of 12 bars, all right? How many days will it take Roy to finish one box? Hmm, let me see here. How can we do that? Two cereal bars for each morning. Each box has a total of 12 bars. So we could count by twos and then finally get to 12. We could do that. So um, why don't we try that? So I'm going to go two, and then I'm going to go here. I'm, I'm going to put a two right here, but I'm going to count four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, two cereal bars every morning. Each box has a total of twelve bars. So this is a total right here of one box, all right? And so this right here would be a day. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could make that a tape diagram. You could go like that. Boom, 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 boom. And then this total right here would be 12. And then this would be one. This represents one day. And then we're going to have two days three days, four days, five days, six days. All right. How many days will it take Roy to finish one box? Six days. But again, just be creative. You did not have to do it this way, but this is the answer that you would come up with. Six days. I would think that Roy's going to get bored eating these every single day. So try uh, maybe some eggs and sausage or waffles, pancakes, cereal. So, okay, I guess he's eating cereal bars anyway. Okay, Sarah and Esther, Esther, equally share the cost of a present. Well, what's in the present? The present costs $18. How much does Sarah pay? Okay, so we have Sarah. Let's draw Sarah. Hello. I'm Sarah and Esther. Um, I don't know who. I think Esther, uh, honestly, I don't know if Esther is a boy or, I think, it's a, I think that's a boy's name, Esther. Equally share the cost of a present. So they bought a present. Here's the present. Put a r ribbon on there. The present cost $18. How much does Sarah pay? That's Sarah right there. Well, she would have paid for half of it. So... 18 divided by 2 equals 9, all right? So if you did not know it was 9, how could you do that? So you could take a big circle like this and another big circle. This would be Sarah's. That's Esther. And you would just start putting in equally like little marks, like circles, until you got done with 18. So let's try that. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I divided that in half and then I would count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how we got nine. All right, that's division. We divided eighteen in half. Okay. I wonder what's inside that present. Hmm. I don't know. It must be something pretty cool for $18. Wow. All right. Let's go on to our next page, page 75, the exit ticket. There are 14 mints in one box. Do you guys like mints? Yeah, they're okay. I, I like chocolate, though. I just love chocolate. There are 14 mints in one box, okay? 
Cecilia, Cecilia, I just like, I just like saying that name. Cecilia eats two mints each day. Woo! Wow. How many days does it take Cecilia to eat one box of mints? Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. They want you to make a tape diagram. All righty. So we do a long triangle, just like that. And 40, 14 mints in one box. Hmm. She eats two mints each day. So I know that they want you to make a tape diagram, but I'm going to do the array just to um, figure this out really fast. So I'm going to do two and I'm going to count to 14. So I'm going to go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. All right, so there is two mints each here. See, I like doing this just to get a visual representation of what I need to do. And so that means I need to divide this rectangle by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't need this part here. Hey, it's okay. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need to put two mints each box here, just like that. And this one is two mints. And the total here is 14 mints. I wonder if they're chocolate mints, then that would be good. Um, and so it says, it takes Cecilia how many days to eat one box of mints? Here's day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It takes her seven days to eat one box of mints. I wonder if she'll share some of those mints with us. Hmm, I don't know. So anyway, hey, uh, they're talking a lot about food in this, uh, this lesson here, but I really like the pictures here. So, hey, I hope you're having a great day. Check out my other videos on here. I think you're going to like them all. I have another channel. It's called the uh, Lampo Film channel. I also have an outdoor channel. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Check it out. Have a great day. Sure, appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and the likey button. And we'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.